Hello, espresso lovers. Today, I'm gonna give you a follow-up on the Urbonic grinder that I talked about in my last video. A little bit of bad news um, and some good news. Uh, we already discussed how the paint chipped off pretty easily with the, hit, the light hit of a spoon on that location and up here. But then I noticed when I was shaking my grinder out to get that extra 0.1 gram, I was banging on this metal thing and then I noticed the paint was chipped off there um, all around the bottom from the banging of the catcher against that, which is not a good thing, which means I was putting paint chips into my coffee puck, which is not ideal, but not unsurmountable. It's uh, something to be aware of and something that I will never do again. I'll never bang the catcher to get out the, the remaining bit of 0.1 gram. I'll just run it bang it a little if I have to, and then never touch that again. And looks like all the paint that was gonna come off came off already anyway, but it's just something to be, something to be aware of. The good news on the grinder is that I have made it completely, utterly stepless. Um, and I did that by taking off this plastic knob. There's a screw underneath this label. You unscrew that and that exposes the spider gear. And if your teeth aren't already flat on the spider gear, you just bend your teeth flat and you can unscrew the entire core. It comes right out. And then this is the detent spring and rod. I'll just set that down there so you can get a look at that. And that's underneath the spider gear. Um, and that just comes right out when you screw out this core. You wrap the core threads with Teflon tape, you put it back in, you find your zero and reset your knob. And I wanna just tell you one thing about the Teflon tape. If you wrap the threads in the direction that I mentioned, you just do it in one pass like this and you just rip it off and, you know, like one pass around the threads is plenty. Some people do two. That little bit extra that I just did was a little bit too much. But if you just do that one pass of Teflon threads on there, try not to get it on the front part. You don't want it touching your grinds or anything like that. And then screw that core back in. That should be more than enough to hold position, find your new zero, and then hold whatever grind you want to set it to. And these days I'm setting the grind finer than I ever was, and there's no drifting at all. And it's really a dream to use, and I'm pretty happy with that. And um, I've been so happy with my espresso that uh, I've been stressing out over not being able to have it because I'm gonna go on a road trip to go to my niece's wedding, but my wife finally decided that I'm not that crazy, and uh, we decided to take the Gaja and the Urbonic on the road with us so that we can have our perfect espresso and cortado in the morning, and maybe we'll do a follow-up video on how that all goes, on how you take this on the road, even though it's not really meant to go on the road. So we'll look forward to that. That's all I have today.